it's me Jennifer and let's talk about salt and pepper salt and pepper shakers can be made from a variety of material including plastic glass metal and ceramic salt shakers became increasingly common after anti-caking agents were introduced by the Morton salt company in the 1920s pardon me the Great Depression of the 1930s boosted the popularity of the salt and pepper shakers as global ceramics producers concentrated on inexpensive items. Except in the most casual dining establishments, they are usually provided as a match set, sometimes distinguishable only by the number of holes in the top of the shaker. Designs range from small plain glass screw top containers invented by John Landis Mason, inventor of the mason jar to more ornate works of art. Sometimes the design refers to some pair of related objects, such as a replica of the West Highland White Terrier containing salt and a Scottish Terrier containing pepper. Designs may also relate to specific occasions or holidays. As a result of this diversity of design, collecting salt and pepper shakers is a hobby. Design of salt and pepper shakers has also been used to transmit cultural perspectives about race and other cultural values. Two museums of salt and pepper shakers in the U.S. and Spain are dedicated to showing the variety and history of salt and pepper shakers throughout the ages. Um, Zipni Castle in Poland also contains a collection of salt and pepper shakers. The number of holes varies by culture, health, and taste. In the U.S., where excessive salt is considered unhealthy, salt is stored in a shaker with a few holes. But in parts of Europe, where pepper was historically a rare spice, it is reversed. In the U.K., salt was often poured onto the side of one's plate and used for dipping, rather than shaking across the whole dish. Hence, salt cellars having a large single, having a single larger hole. The shakers may also be simply labeled pepper and salt, or P and S. In some cases, the latter may be formed of the holes for pouring, or may be colored white for salt and black for pepper. Many salt and pepper shakers are transparent, which, in which case they need not be otherwise distinguished. As an alternative to salt and pepper shakers, pepper may be distributed at the table by the use of a pepper grinder, while salt may be distributed from a salt cellar or a salt mill. I find that interesting. You know, um, we have salt and pepper shakers, and in some places they're called salt and pepper pots, in which the first uh, item is normally called a salt cellar in British English. They are condiment dispensers used in Western culture that are designed to allow diners to distribute grains of edible salt and ground peppercorns. Salt and pepper shakers are sometimes held in a cruet stand. That's interesting. So I have a list of little uh, things about them. Salt and pepper shakers are small containers that hold powdered food seasonings, typically in Western uh, countries. Salt and pepper shakers typically contain ground pepper and salt and are generally tipped upside down over a meal and gently shaken to release some of their contents. Salt and pepper shakers are also known as salt and pepper pots. Salt and pepper shakers are made in many different materials such as ceramics, plastics, glass, metal, or timber. It is believed that a salt shaker was first invented in 1858 by John Mason a tinsmith from America, but it wasn't until the 1920s that sets of salt and pepper shakers were commonly manufactured, and later they became even more popular due to cost effectiveness of ceramic production. Salt and pepper shakers are commonly a set of two, sporting many different colors, shapes, and sizes. Salt and pepper shakers may include a grinding function to grind peppercorns and large salt crystals. Salt and pepper shakers grew in popularity in the 1920s due to the addition of magnesium carbate to the salt to prevent lumps and clumping caused by moisture, which was added by the Morton Salt Company in Chicago in the U.S., making it easier to pour. Salt and pepper shakers are popularly collected due to the unique shapes and historical significance. Large collections exist, some which may have as many as 40,000 sets. Salt and pepper shakers generally have small holes to resist to restrict the amount of seasoning released, with salt shakers typically having like the least number of holes in the U.S. So I hope you found this a little interesting about your salt and pepper shakers. In the meantime, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, happy yarning. Bye now.